this grade 9 audio has been developed by the Curriculum Development Center. The voices in this audio are of professional artists, native speakers, teachers and students. The recording is coordinated by Chandrakanta Vasal and Ramesh Prasad Ghimiri of the Curriculum Development Center in association with the Peak Digital Recording Studio. You can listen to this audio through the internet logging on to www.moecdc dot gov dot np grade 9 unit 1 you will hear a conversation between two friends planning for a birthday celebration hi Ankita oh hi Amrit how are you doing I'm doing all right how about you not too bad your birthday is coming near how are you going to celebrate it I'll celebrate it with my friends. Are you having a party at your home? Yeah, we'll have dinner. My mother is going to prepare it for all of us. After that, we will dance and sing. It's a good program. Will you also invite me? What? Aren't you my best friend? You should come even if I don't invite you. Who will sing at the party if you don't come? <laughs> Thanks. I was just joking. Whom else are you inviting? Three more friends. Rina, Rohit, and Ramdas. What time does the party begin? There isn't any fixed time. Other friends are coming at around 6 in the evening. Will you come a little earlier? I'll try to be early. I've been eagerly waiting for that day. Thanks. We'll have great fun. Hope to see you then. Bye. See you. Bye. Grade 9, Unit 2. You'll hear a conversation among four friends, Ekwal, Chiring, Christina, and Swastika, talking about the essence of our holy books. Chiring, I've got something interesting to say. Would you like to hear? Definitely. Go ahead. I read our holy book, the Quran. From it, I understood that God has created us and made us into tribes and nations so that we may know each other not despise each other. Yeah, that's true. Once I also heard a Buddhist monk saying, with kindness, love, compassion and essence of brotherhood and sisterhood, we will have inner peace. Really? I also have something to add to it, may I? Sure. sure. According to the Rig Veda, unifying hearts and having common intention, resolution and prayer bring peace. That's true. United we stand, divided we fall. Yes, Christina. Would you like to add your view? Yeah, the Bible says the work of righteousness leads to quietness and assurance forever, which creates peace. Great! That means all our epics and prophets have discouraged hatred, fighting and bad deeds among us. Why do people still do it? Perhaps lack of knowledge. Education may help people to understand the importance of living together. Yes, you are right. Grade 9, Unit 3, you'll hear a lecture about nutrition. According to WHO, nutrition is the intake of food considered in relation to the body's dietary needs. Good nutrition combined with regular physical activity is a cornerstone of good health. Poor nutrition can lead to reduced immunity, increased susceptibility to disease, impaired physical and mental development, and reduced productivity. Our body needs good nutrition to function properly. If we obtain the majority of our daily calories from fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, we can get a truly balanced nutrition. Calorie is the measure of the amount of energy stored in the food that we consume. Our body uses calories from the food we eat for walking, thinking, breathing, and working, and for everything else we do. The average person needs about 2,000 calories every day to maintain his or her health. However, a person's daily calorie intake should be based on age, 
gender, and physical activity level. Men generally need more calories than women, and active people need more calories than inactive ones. Grade 9, Unit 4. You'll hear a telephone conversation between two friends. Birban speaking. Hi, Birban. How are you? Is everything okay? Why have you been absent for so many days? I'm fine, Flamaya. But we have had a bad time lately. Why? What happened? Are all of you fine? Fulmaya, my grandfather passed away three days back. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What was the cause of his death, Birban? He was 85 and had been suffering from asthma for some years. As it got severe, we took him to the hospital. But by the time we got to the hospital, he was no more. The doctor declared him dead. I'm extremely sorry to hear that. I extend my sincere condolences to you and your family. May the departed soul rest in peace in heaven. Yeah. Thank you for being with us at this hour of grief. God's will is done. I know how you feel. May the Almighty give you the courage to bear the loss. Bye, Birban. Thank you, Fulmaya. Bye. Grade 9, Unit 5, Track 1. You will hear a man describing a house. There is a beautiful house in the flowery garden. There is a large tree behind the house. To the left, there are two small trees with fruits. The house has two large windows in the front wall and a small one above the door which is adjacent to the boundary gate. A car is parked by the left corner of the garden. Grade 9 Unit 5, Track 2. You'll hear a woman describing shapes. There's a small circle in the middle of the square. There's a small triangle in the right-hand upper corner, a dot in the left-hand lower corner, and an asterisk above the circle. Two arrows from the top and bottom are pointing to the circle. Grade 9, Unit 6. You'll hear the pronunciation of the English consonant sounds and the words consisting of those sounds. Sounds are the smallest units of language. There are 24 consonant sounds in English. They are P as in pin, B as in bad, T as in tin, D as in dog, F as in fan, V as in van, Th as in thin, Th as in that, M as in man, N as in nose, M as in thing, H as in hat, Ch as in chair, J as in jam, K as in cat, G as in goat, s as in say, z 
as in zoo, sh as in ship, j as in measure, l as in leg, r as in run, w as in work, y as in yes. Grade nine, unit seven. You'll hear a girl making a hotel reservation over the phone. Worldwide travel and tours. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I need some information, please. Yes. Well. I know it's rather late for a reservation, but we are three friends, and we'd like to travel to Pokhara next September. Hmm. Let's see. Where would you like to stay? We've been told the Fulbari Resort and Spa Pokhara is one of the best resorts in that area. Would that be possible? Quite difficult in September. Would you like to visit in October, or? We'd rather make a self-catering arrangement. Are you thinking of a villa or an apartment? I guess a small apartment will be cheaper, provided it's not during September. Yes, you know prices are lower out of season. How long would you like to stay? About a week, but it might be difficult to change dates. You know, we are three and have different times available. Hmm, I see. How many did you say were in the party? There'll be three of us, all girls: Shilpa, Sudiksha, and me myself. So we need a safe place on the lakeside, but we cannot spend more than fifteen thousand rupees a day. For that price, you won't have many options, I'm afraid. But let me find out. If you could arrange to make it in late September, a month later, I might have a bed sitter. For ten thousand rupees, it could accommodate three single beds, and it's a five-minute walk from Fiwa Lake. I'd love that. What's the name of the lakeside? Have you got it handy? Yes, Pokhara Lakeside. Have you heard about it? Yes, my parents went there on their honeymoon, and they still keep advising people to visit it. Anyway, I need to talk it over with my friends, though. Well, contact your friends. Come to an agreement, and give me a ring again. My name is Sujal Joshi. You will find me here any working day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but not on Saturdays. I will. Thank you, Sujal. You've been very kind. Wait, you haven't given me your name. Sorry, I am Tejeshwi Gimire from Kathmandu. T e z a s w i. G H I M I R E. I'll get back to you tomorrow without fail, Sujal. Thank you again. Bye. Great. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Grade nine. Unit eight. You'll hear a man giving instructions for drawing pictures. Step one: Start in the square above the sign "No Parking." Step two: Go left two squares, then down two squares. In this square, copy the picture given in the square below. Step three: Go right four squares and copy the picture in the square on your left. Step four. Go up two squares, then go left one square. In this square, copy the picture in the square above. Step five: Go left three squares, then up one square. In this square, copy the picture in the square on your right. Step six: Go down two squares, then right three squares. In this square, copy the picture in the square on your left.
Grade 9, Unit 9. You will hear a conversation between a woman and a policeman asking for and giving directions. Excuse me, where can I buy some souvenirs? In a gift store or in a supermarket? I prefer a supermarket. Where is it? Well, go straight along the University Road. After you reach Banu Marga, turn right. Go straight until you get to Kingsway. Then, turn left. Is the market there? No, it isn't. Go straight, past the cine hall and beauty parlor on your right. Is that the place? It's near. Go straight for a while. The market is next to the park on your left. Do you get it? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You're welcome. Grade 9, Unit 10. You'll hear a man sharing his personal experience about cultural misunderstanding. The British do shake hands. In an informal situation, you may see social kissing, which is acceptable between men and women, and also between women who know each other very well. I knew it before I left for Britain. As I got out of the Manchester airport, a group of my friends, both men and women, were waiting to receive me. No doubt, I shook hands with the male ones, and the female friends hugged and kissed me. However, I felt it a bit awkward and embarrassing. From the next morning, there were more meetings, and everywhere I was introduced to ladies, I was kissed, and I was supposed to do the same. As it was rather embarrassing to me, I thought of a new style. I held hands of the ladies as they came closer to me to kiss and kissed them on the hand instead of the cheeks. In the evening, my host called me and told me that what I had been doing during the day was not acceptable. She told me that only the boyfriends could kiss the ladies on the hands. Now there was no option left for me, and I took it as normal to hug and kiss my friends. Next summer, some of my friends came to Nepal, and I had a privilege to call them home for tea. My wife and I stood at the gate welcoming our guests. Once they reached home, the men hugged and kissed my wife, and I greeted the ladies the same way. The expression my wife showed turning towards me made me feel sorry. I wish I had told her earlier how British people greeted. She must have felt much more embarrassed than I had felt in Britain. Cultural misunderstanding may sometimes cause great offense. Grade 9, Unit 11, you'll hear a woman talking about Mona Lisa, the great artwork by Leonardo da Vinci. There are many artworks which have left their mark on the art world. Among them is the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. This painting is known to Italians as La Gioconda and the French La Gioconde. This half-length portrait is thought to be a portrait of Francesco del Giocondo's wife, Lisa Gerardini. It is believed that this greatest treasure of Renaissance was created between 1503 and 1506 on wood. This most famous portrait is one of da Vinci's masterpieces. It must be famous because of its serenity, which comes from the muted color scheme, Harmony, created by pyramid-shaped pose, her enigmatic smile, and her gaze. Grade 9, Unit 12 
you'll hear a conversation between Dilrupa and her mother. Mom, may I get a glass of water, please? Why don't you go and serve yourself? I'm busy right now. Okay, Mom. Is it okay if I help Brother with his homework? Excuse me? You better let him do his assignment himself. He has to develop the habit of doing things independently. Yes, Mom, you are right. If you don't mind, may I help you? I'm free now. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Can you please bring antiseptics? Sure. What happened to you? Oh, no. It's bleeding. I think you need to go to doctor. May I call father? No, you shouldn't. It's a minor cut. We can manage it ourselves. You children also have to teach yourselves about your own safety. Okay, now let me bandage it. I know about first aid. Do you? Thank you. You're most welcome. Grade 9, Unit 13. You will hear an announcement. Good morning. Today, I have a special announcement to be made. Last month, the talent show organized the International Handwriting Competition. From our school, Sudhir Adhikari, Meena Moktan, and Dalbir Roka were the participants. Today morning, I got good news about the competition. I must say, it is great news for our institution. According to the talent show notice, Master Dalbir Roka got the first prize. I would like to congratulate Dalbir for his achievement. We are proud of you. You've proved that you can do much better than what people expect from you. School, he deserves a round of applause. Congratulations! And Mina and Sudhir? You should not be disheartened. It is because there is always room for improvement. Accept my congratulations for getting selected to participate in such a grand competition. Next year, you can prove yourselves. School, these two shining stars too deserve our standing ovations. Nothing is impossible. The rest of you can also have good practice of handwriting for upcoming selection. Lastly, school, I'd like to remind you all to collect the exam routine and a notice from your class teacher in the last period. Have a good day! Grade 9, Unit 14 Traditionally, students have to sit for tests. They get question papers, pencils or pens, answer sheets and other stationery for the test. They need to complete their test within the given time frame. For results, students should wait for many days or even months. Tests in the 21st century are different. They are easier and faster than traditional tests because students use the internet when they take tests. Here is an argument between the traditional test and the contemporary test. Both of them are in a library. Let's hear what they claim. Hey, online test. How are you? What a pleasant surprise. It's good to see you here. Where have you been? Long time no see. What to say? It's all because of you. What? Pardon, please. How can you blame me without my fault? These days, I am called old-fashioned. People rarely use me. I am about to become extinct. You are blooming day by day. It's not my mistake. I am liked by many. People find me easy to test their skill and knowledge. I am faster than you in testing and evaluating, too. I don't need any materials, like pen, answer sheet, question paper, and many more, like you. People of this era are smart enough for time management. Old is gold. You should not boast. Still, 
Many people follow me. I am a reliable. You talk about materials? Don't you think you need equipment which is expensive? You are costly. I am cheaper than you. My friend, I am more advanced than you. I can correct myself in a very short time, which is not possible for you. You must know that I can get better ideas, information, and techniques from the internet. Opening bulky books and memorizing all abstract knowledge is outdated. More than that, I am updated with the latest publishing of any text and information. You have been the same since you are here. It's my tragedy, but I need to be here for the people who can't access the internet. I know you can't reach every corner of the world as easily as I do. Perhaps it's your time. Sorry, friend. I can't wait for the ones who can't change with time. Hmm. It's okay. Grade 9, Unit 15. You'll hear a lecture about the techniques of making our reading more enjoyable. We need to read only useful and knowledgeable books that benefit our self-development. Do you enjoy reading books? Reading books is fun if we follow a few techniques. First, choose the correct book. If you choose the appropriate book, reading gives you pleasure, like getting a reward. In other words, Reading is pleasant if you can choose the book that matches your area of interest. Then how to choose a book? Choose a book that suits your habit, taste, and interest. If the book is of your choice, reading will be joyful. Second, before reading the book, you should neither read preview nor review from others. This may get your mind preoccupied. As a result, reading will not be fun. Similarly, while reading books, you need to follow the storyline and mood of the characters. Furthermore, the more you can imagine, the more you can enjoy. Reading books makes you not only imaginative, but also creative and curious. To enjoy beyond, you need to judge the books which you read. After reading any book, if you can make a critical judgment, it will give you a more pleasant experience. As a result, it makes reading perfect and pleasant. In short, following such steps, we can have the pleasant experience of reading useful and knowledgeable books. Such kinds of books make us able to avoid evil, do well, and purify ourselves. Grade 9, Listening Tests Grade 9, Listening Test 1 You'll hear a conversation between two friends, Gangadas and Srishti, about their recent activities. Hello, Srishti. What have you been doing lately? I haven't seen you for some days. Actually, I have been writing a book on English grammar. Oh. How much have you done with it? Not much. I have thought of a good name, and I have prepared the list of items to be included. Have you started writing it yet? Only a few pages. It will take a long time. Okay. Keep up. I wish I could help you. Grade 9, Listening Test 2. You'll hear a conversation between Sandra and Mr. Brown at the airport. Hello, are, are you Mr. Brown? Yeah. Oh, I'm Sandra Ellis. Hi, Sandra. Welcome to Manchester. Well, I'm so sorry. I'm so late. You see, there was fog at Amsterdam, and we were delayed there. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. No, no, it's okay. I was able to catch up on some of my notes. Oh, 
Good. Well, it's a great pleasure to meet you, Mr. Brown. Yeah, I've been looking forward to meeting you too, Sandra. How was your flight? Well, not too bad. Thanks. Oh, good. Well, I think the best thing is we'll go to your hotel first, if that's okay. My car's just outside. Terrific. Can I take one of your bags? Oh, thanks. Yeah, here you are, Sandra. Right now. Is there anything you'd like to do before we set off? Well, I'd just like to make a quick phone call, if, uh, if that's all right. Yes, sure. Look, there are some phone booths over there. Mm, would you like to have a drink or something to eat before we go into town, or...? Well, uh, maybe just a coffee, if we've got time. Grade 9, listening test 3, you'll hear a conversation among Avaran, Monila and their parents about their plan for going rafting. Daddy, what are you watching? I guess it's interesting, isn't it? May I join you? Oh sure. Dogs are amazing creatures. Every time I watch I'm shocked to see their behavior. They're not so much different from human beings. Oh, dogs. Yes, Daddy. Why don't we keep a small puppy as our pet? I like pet dogs. Shh! Your mother will go crazy hearing this. But why? Don't you know she's allergic to dogs? Oh, it's okay if that's the case. May I ask you something, Daddy? Yes. Is it for camping? If you are, I'm sorry, dear. I can't give you permission to stay out. No! I have a different plan. Do you mind if I tell you? Smart enough. Go on. Actually, we've thought of going for rafting on the boat to Koshi. If you like, Monila, you can also join. Daddy, you should not worry about the cost. I will manage from my pocket money. Is it alright if I, uh... Are you alright? See the doctor, you children. <laughs> now, we're grown up. I'm a high school student. I know do's and don'ts. It's been long that I've learnt to be safe. I'm not a kid anymore! What did you tell your father? May I know the reason? I'm fed up with this fuss. It's nothing like that. Our one just asked to go rafting with his friends. Just then, father walked off. I think he did nothing wrong. You children are pleasant gifts to us. We don't want to take a risk sending you with your friends. If it is possible, I will plan for it. We all four will go and enjoy rafting together. Your father is not against your wish, but he's more concerned about your safety. We've been taking both of you to many places. The only thing is... Mother, would it be possible to take Ankit with us? In fact, I promised to take him for rafting as a birthday treat. That's why I am hurt. Is it okay if I take him with me? Definitely. We will take him too, but he also needs to get permission from his parents. Sure, he will. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> 